I thought I'd make a short video on how to um, use the cafeteria because um, I just bought one recently in Italy and brought it back home. And it's so little on the internet on um, how to use it. And um, for those of you who want to know, um, this is what you do. Um, you unscrew it and uh, it comes into several parts. You've got the rubber ring and the top filter. You've got the basket and the coffee in the bottom and then the water container. First thing you do is fill the uh, bottom container up with some nice water. Fil filtered water is quite good. So just below the level of the pressure release valve. If there's um, a blockage, um, that valve will go. It's a safety device. You fill that with clean cold water up just below the level of that valve. And then you put the coffee basket in very gently. And you get some ground coffee and uh, you fill the basket up to its level, but don't press it down or anything, just, just very gently make sure it's level. Then, because it expands when the water gets pushed through, then with your finger, just make sure the rim is clean. Then get the top half of the machine and screw it to the bottom half, which is quite straightforward like that. And next thing you do is you put it onto your stove. Now, I've got a ceramic stove, and uh, you want it on a medium setting heat. So I put it on number eight, because you don't want it boiling too quickly. So go and put it on the stove, and put it on for number eight. And uh, it should take about three minutes. In the meantime, um, boil up um, some filled water in a regular kettle. Um, do that about a minute before the cafeteria comes to the boil. And then with some of the other water, just pour it into a, a, a cup, just to warm it up, because the coffee won't stay hot uh, for as long as you're used to, unless you do that. Then, when the cafeteria starts to percolate through, um, it happens very quickly, over about 15, 20 seconds, and it fills the top part of the cafeteria with, with a rich coffee, and then it starts gurgling. As soon as that happens, Take it off the heat and just put it to one side. Go over to your cup, tip the cup out that's had hot water in it to warm it up. And then you can pour the, the water, the, uh, the coffee out the cafeteria into your cup. You'll probably get about half a cup. Now, if you're British and you're used to a, a, a long coffee and you want a nice cup, you can use the rest of the boiled water in a regular kettle to top the, uh, the cup or the mug up to a regular size. Um, it does dilute it a little bit, but it still be very strong. And then you can just add milk um, and sugar to taste. And, um, and that's, that's the, the secret of it. That's the two secrets. Is don't compress the coffee down. Just put it in level so it's loose. And um, don't let it boil on the stove. As soon as it starts finishing and gurgling, take it off. And then it's ready to use. Otherwise, it will you know, just uh, overcook it. Then um, for cleaning, you have to wait till it cools down, um, probably about 15-20 minutes. Unscrew both parts and then put the top to one side. Empty the basket out, then just tap it on a tissue. You'll get all the coffee come out. Wash it under the tap in clean water. I don't use soapy water. Then rinse out the bottom half. You'll probably find there's very little water in it. Leave that to dry. And then with the top half, you'll need to just gently prise the rubber ring out. Um, a little sort of marmalade knife or something that's blunt will get the ring out very easily. Take the rubber sealing ring out and the, and the upper um, perforated filter. Wash those under the tap. And then wash, uh, tip the remaining little bit of the coffee out the top. It's got some grouts because you, you normally leave the top bit in there. And then look through all the holes, the percolation holes, and make sure they're all clear, not blocked and then just dry everything off with a tissue. And then um, when, when it's dry and clean, just assemble it all back up, and then you can put it away, it's ready, ready for use next time. Um, as long as you keep the filters clean and you hold them up to the light, you can see through them and see all the holes, you shouldn't have any problems at all. Um, and you can get new rings and filters and everything like that. Um, this cafeteria that I bought in Italy, I got it for £10, so that's not a bad price. Uh, the coffee's lovely. And I've used Monero's Cafe Arabica and also Espresso. The, the ground coffee that you can buy for the machine is ground coarser than they use in the restaurants. It's a very finely ground coffee in the restaurants, but if you try and use it on the machine, it goes right through the gauze and you'll get all the grouts come out. 
So use the right coffee uh, for the machine and you should have a, a perfect cup every time. Thank you.